This is question eight, and it's a question about a probability table. I'm going to have to use a bit of algebra as well to solve this. So it says there are some counters in a bag, and we've got either blue, green, red, or yellow counters, which we can see we've got on this table. And it says the probabilities are shown for taking a counter out of the bag at random. So they're for blue and that one for green. So we've got 0.32 is probability for taking a blue one and probability for taking a green one is 0.2. Now we're told that the probability that a counter taken at random from the bag will be red is five times the probability that the counter will be yellow. So what we could do if we say, well, OK, let's call the probability of taking a yellow counter X then because the probability of taking a red one is five times that we can actually call that 5x and we're now told that there are 300 counters in a bag so work out the number of red yellow counters in the bag so we're going to need to try and work out what x is in order to do this and the best thing we can do is actually know that if we added up this row it's going to equal one because all probabilities, if we add up all the all the um, the probabilities of all the possible outcomes, then it would make one. So we can see that we've got 0 0.32 plus 0 0.20 plus 5x plus x is actually equal to one. And I'm just going to tidy this up a bit. 0.32 plus 0.20 makes 0.52 and 5x plus x is going to make plus 6x equals 1. So we can see we've got an equation here that we can try and solve. So we can, uh, by solving, I mean working out the value for x. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away 0.52 from both sides. And then I'll be left with 6x equals. Now, because we're on the calculator paper, we, we'd we find this quite easy to do without a calculator, but we might as well just use the calculator for that. So I'm just going to do 1 minus 0.52. And there we go, 12 over 25. But we don't want it like that. We want it as a decimal. So 0 0.48. So that's the the value of 6x. So now we can work out what's the value of 1x and we can just do that by dividing the 0 0.48 by 6 by taking 6 is times on this side. So if it goes over the other side, it will become divide. So again, I'm just going to go to the calculator and I'm going to take the answer I've already got there. Divide that by 6. And just pressing the SD button again. 0.08 so that's the value of x but that's just the probability of getting a yellow counter in fact i could show that the probability of getting a yellow is equal to 0.08 but we want to work out the number of yellow counters in a bag and if we want to do that all we need to do is take that probability that we've just worked out and times it by 300 because as a proportion 0.08 of the total will be yellow if that's its probability so we can say the number of yellow is going to equal 300 times by 0.08 and again I'm just going to do that definitely on the calculator so times by 300 and that tells me there are 24 yellow counters in the bag. And that's it. So I hope that's been helpful to you. And if it has, please consider subscribing to our channel and also giving our video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.